So in the past, our current customers have been using Query Patroller for some of their workload management tasks. How does this new capability uh, that we have in Viper 2 uh, fit in with Query Patroller? That's a good question, and uh, a lot of our customers who are using Query Patroller uh, today to, to solve their workload management issues um, are going to ask that question. So essentially, when you install Viper 2, Query Patroller is going to work exactly the way it does today, and you're not going to have to change anything. It will manage the system the way it does today. And things only begin to change as you begin to introduce some of these new concepts. If you introduce a new service class, then any work that goes in that new service class is no longer under control of Query Patroller. So you control when and where work leaves the domain of Query Patroller. Uh, looking forward, they're meant to coexist uh, in Viper 2. Going forward, we don't have any plans to invest further in Query Patroller. Our strategy and our investments are going to be in the new workload management capabilities that we're introducing in the engine. And that uh, we expect to, to gradually allow us to our customers to move away from Query Patrol into the new workload management um, capabilities over time. Okay, good. So uh, folks who are using Query Patroller today, for them it's going to be seamless, plus they'll have the ability to take advantage of the new workload management uh, capabilities. That's right. Um, how, do you, how do you compare the two approaches, the new capabilities versus um, using Query Patroller in the past? Well, the way I compare the two is, is Think of Query Patroller more as a doorman. He's sitting outside your building. He opens the door. He lets you in the building. After that, he's looking for the next person entering the building. You could be running around. Who knows where you're going? Whereas the new workload management uh, capability is more like a, a hall monitor in your school or something like that. He's sit there. He's inside the school. He's watching what's going on. He's making sure you're going to the right room. No running in the hall. That type of thing. And that's it, it's that sort of difference in perspective. And that's the change from to, to focusing on the execution environment. Uh, couple other things that come to mind. One is that once work enters DB2, Query Patrol has no other information about it other than it's running somewhere in DB2. With the new workload management, you're able to at any time go and check on it and see, well, is it still running? Is it waiting on something? What's going on with that piece of work? And so there's awareness in the system and you're able to use the, those table functions I mentioned to go looking for it and, and find out what's going on. Um, the other aspect Query Patroller is a coordinator uh, node activity. It's where the application connects, so it's aware of work that's being submitted by the application at the application. It's not aware of where that work goes in the rest of the, the system. So if you're using our, our DPF uh, product and you have multiple database partitions, Query Patroller can't tell you about the, what's going on with those other systems. WLM is aware of that work everywhere, and that work is tracked everywhere, so you can go and look at it and go find out what's going on or you can capture information in all the nodes and, and, and sort of get a, a good picture of what that work's doing to your system as a whole. And then finally, I guess the, the thing that comes to mind is that Query Patroller writes everything that goes through its passes in front of it, it writes it to its control tables. And so you, you get a lot of information put on the disk, but you also have to write all that information to the disk. In Viper 2, the, the workload management capabilities has no dependencies, no desire to write anything to disk unless you ask it to. So by default, the system is designed to run without any disk interface. It doesn't write anything to disk. If you wish to monitor or capture information, absolutely. But there, there's no disk requirement in, uh, by default. All right, sounds good. So, so your advice would be for folks who are using Query Patroller today to you know, start exploring uh, the new workload management capabilities. Any any closing thoughts that you might have? Well, um, I'm not, I haven't covered everything. There's lots in there. Um, I really encourage people to, to take a look, dig into some uh, presentations at IDUG and other conferences that have gone on. Uh, there's material that's going to be coming out in the open beta, and the, the beta there is there itself, so you can go try it out and uh, experiment with these things. So I really encourage people to go, go look into it and find out what they can do with this new technology. All right. Thank you very much, Paul. You're welcome.